Okay, good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Paul Salvet out in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm the managing director of BBE Books. Uh, today, what we're going to take a look at is uploading your uh, Mobi file to uh, KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, this is what you need to do to uh, publish your ebook on Amazon. So, um, first thing uh, we got, we need two files. We're going to need the Mobi file. That is our ebook, and we're also going to need our cover. Um, I've got two covers now. My cover um, it's going to have a height of 2,500 pixels. Uh, typically, this is what Amazon advises, and we've also got my uh, my Mobi file there. So what we need to do is um, we click uh, Add New Title. I'm in my KDP uh, bookshelf here. So if you just click on Bookshelf uh, after you log into KDP, it'll pull that up. And I'm going to add a new title. Okay, and uh, what's going to happen is um, there's two different pages for the uh, the when you publish your book on KDP. Uh, let's talk about the first one. Okay, um, enroll this book in KDP Select. Uh, KDP Select it's an exclusive agreement with Amazon for 90 days, and uh, you're eligible for 70% royalties in some markets such as India. Plus, um, you get to make your book free for up to five days. Um, choosing whether or not to go KDP Select um, is up to you. It's something important to think about, but be advised that if you do choose KDP Select, um, you can't sell at any other platform or even on your website. You can't sell your ebook anywhere else except for Amazon. So uh, I'm already selling my ebook uh, somewhere else on Smashwords, actually, so I'm not going to enroll in KDP Select. All right, first one, this stuff is pretty self explanatory. Uh, book name, obviously, you just want to put your title here. My book's called Bangkok Curfew. Okay, um, there's some extra additional optional stuff here. You can have it's part of a series or the edition number. Uh, next up, publisher. Um, typically, uh, obviously, if you're a publishing company, you put your company's name there. However, if you're uh, independent or self-publishing, uh, you can just put your own name. So I'm just going to put my own name here. Okay, Paul Salvat. Okay. Now, uh, the description... This is really important. This is what is actually going to show up on your uh, the product page on Amazon. So you really have to think about um, what you want to write here, and you have 4,000 characters to do it. Okay, and I have a uh, preloaded um, description that I already wrote and thought about, and I've copied it into a text editor, and I copied it to my clipboard. I'm just going to copy it here with uh, Control V. There we go. Okay, so that's my uh, back copy blurb. Uh, next thing, book contributors, do not neglect this one. You have to add um, yourself as the author, okay? Very important, or you'll get an error message when you go to publish. So I'm just going to type in my name, Paul Salvet, and I'm actually going to add one more, my uh, little brother, Ben Salvet, who helped edit it. And uh, both of these names will show up on the, the product page. Uh, you can add any one you want down there. But definitely make sure you add yourself as the author. Okay, so I'm going to save there. There we go. Okay, my language, uh, it's English. Uh, publication date, you can usually just choose the day. Today is the 27th of February. Um, ISBN, uh, some authors like to use an ISBN. We don't recommend it for Amazon because uh, the Amazon... The ISBNs, they can be very pricey if you buy them from Balker. They're like $125 for one, but and you don't really need it on Amazon. Um, if you do choose to use an ISBS, ISBN, you can enter it there, but if you don't have one, just go ahead and leave this blank. Okay, step two, verifying your publishing rights. All right, um, this work is not a public domain because you own the copyright and you're trying to sell it. If it's a public domain, that means it's just a free book, but this is uh, not a public domain work because uh, you own the copyright. Okay, target your book to customers. Now, this is really important right here, this step, step number three. Uh, what you want to do is you want to add in kind of the metadata that will allow uh, people when they go to search uh, on Amazon to, to discover your book. So you get to choose two categories and seven keywords. So let's just pick a couple categories here. So my book's kind of like a uh, thriller, noir, you know, crime type book. So I'm going to look under uh, fiction here. Okay. And once you pull up fiction, you get all these uh, different ones. I'm going to look for, uh, see if they have uh, thrillers. That's a good one. And urban life. Now give it some thought uh, to the two 
the two categories you pick. It's very important and you only get to choose two. Okay, I'm just gonna click them over here. Click save. All right, thrillers and urban life. Now I'm gonna add my keywords in. I've already thought about my keywords and I have seven here. So my book, it takes place in Bangkok, Thailand. It's a crime kind of thriller noir and it has vandalism and drugs. Now you really have to think about how you, the, the, cost, the readers you wanna target and uh, definitely use all seven of the keywords. So think really hard about which keywords you want to use. All right, step four. Uh, this is where we're going to upload our high-res cover. Um, so you pull up this page and it says, well, you can uh, load a TIFF or a JPEG. Definitely load the JPEG. Almost no one uses TIFF. Um, so I'm just going to go here. It's on my uh, desktop. Uh, I'm on a PC here, but the process is very similar for uh, for Mac users as well. Okay, this is my uh, my high res cover. It's uh, as you can see, it's got uh, 1,680 pixels wide and 2,500 pixels tall. That's a good amount right there. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my image. Okay, and uh, let's wait for that to get done. Okay, so uh, after we've uploaded our coverage, we're just going to close that down. And as you can see, uh, your uh, upload image is up here. Now you may notice, especially if you have a red type cover, it looks like not very nice. But uh, don't worry, after uh, Amazon gets your product page up, in about 24 hours time, the cover should look okay on your product page. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and uh, change your cover later. Uh, next thing we need to do is step five is upload the ebook. Um, now you get an option of whether or not you want to enable DRM or digital rights management. Um, at BBE Books, we typically have the belief that uh, you know DRM it's kind of a annoyance for uh, honest readers and the, the big name pirates they can just uh, strip the DRM off your book anyways. So we generally advise do not enable it. But if you want to enable it, you can. But for us, we generally don't support DRM. But the decision is yours. You have the option. Okay, next thing you need to do, click Browse for Book. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to pull up, find that Mobi file. And we're just going to go ahead and click Upload Book. And uh, this can take some time, especially if your book's pretty big. This, is, uh, this book's only about uh, 500K, so it's pretty small. So uh, we're going to upload it here. And what it's going to do is um, you're going to get the option, you'll be able to preview your book. Now, before you publish on Amazon, make sure you are previewing your book with Kindle Previewer. You can download it from Amazon. We have another video at BBE Books that talks about that. Uh, we generally do not advise using the, the previewer inside the web browser because uh, the one from Amazon, it's got, a, it's got a few bugs in it. It doesn't look right. The one, uh, when you view it in Kindle Previewer, the software you download separately, it looks a lot better. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for uh, this to get done. Okay. Uploading version successful. Great. And uh, just to show you, you can preview a book. It might be, just be a good idea just to make sure you uploaded the right book. Um, a lot of times on the Kindle Preview of the bug, it'll go to the wrong page when you start up. Um, but you can kind of scroll through here. It takes a while. It's a bit slow, but I definitely just want to make sure I uploaded the right book. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down and we're going to save and continue. Okay, the first thing we got to do is uh, verify our publishing territories. Um, generally, unless you know, you're know you some kind of big publisher with a big legal team, your, your rights are always going to be probably worldwide rights because you probably control the copyright. Uh, so I'm just going to select that there. And then when you, uh, next step is to choose your royalty. Now this part's real important. Okay, so um, generally we advise our clients to choose the 70% royalty. And to choose the 70% royalty, you have to price your book in between $299 and $999 inclusive. So um, if your book is cheaper, say you wanted to sell your book for $1.99, you have to take the 35% royalty. Uh, generally, um, I'm going to sell, try selling my book for $2.99. And what it's going to do, it's going to automatically update these, uh, these other fields here. You can just click set the price based on the U.S. price. That's generally what you want to do. Now, for in India, um, you, can, you can only get the 70% if you enroll in KDP Select. So I'm just going to go ahead and set all these here. And it'll, auto, Amazon will automatically do the calculations for you, so that's good. Uh, same for Japan. You have to be in K KDP Select to get the 
to get the 70% uh, royalty. And I guess for Brazil too. Wow, you learn something new all the time. All right, I didn't know for Brazil as well. Okay, so um, I'm setting my price at 2.99. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind, there's a little, little bit of fine print right here. Your book file size after conversion is 0.19 megabytes. All right, why, why do I care about this? Because when you do take the 70% royalty, Amazon charges what's called a delivery fee. Now the delivery fee, it costs about 15 cents per meg for every megabyte your book is. And that's why uh, for our clients, we always make sure to keep the pictures uh, really small and uh, keep the book uh, free from bloated code and keep it as, as small as possible without sacrificing quality. So um, the book size is really important, especially for image heavy books. So say you have like a four meg book that has a couple hundred images in it. And for every sale you make, Amazon takes 60 cents from you. So it's something to watch out for, okay? Now that I've uh, set my prices, um, you can uh, choose whether you want to enable Kindle book lighting. Uh, sometimes you can't choose. Um, and then you click this little button here, uh, save and publish below. And then you click save and publish. And then uh, you're done. So after you uh, publish your book, your book's going to be in review with Amazon for about 12 to 48 hours. So um, while it's uh, being reviewed, it'll say like publishing or in review, and it'll be kind of grayed out. And after uh, it gets approved, it'll go to live. Now once your once your ebook is live, you want to go and check. I'll show you an example of one of mine. This is one of my books. Um, a couple things you want to check. You want to make sure that the uh, cover image is updated. Now sometimes Amazon will make the book go live without the cover image. Uh, this is actually kind of normal. So um, in that case, it, it, it might take like a day or two for the cover image to update. Um, a, a feature that usually takes a little bit longer is the click to look inside feature. That takes that can take anywhere up to four days typically. And what this is, it allows um, a user to click and then it'll pull up a, a preview of your book. And uh, typically it'll be like the first 10% or so of your book. So we're scrolling through. All right, this looks pretty nice right here. And uh, this is important. And uh, for clients of ours, the look inside feature always looks pretty nice. And you, need, you wanna do that because that's like uh, one of the first things people do before they sample. Um, another thing you wanna make sure under your book description that uh, the, the, the the blur got entered correctly. Um, and you can take a look at other, other things. This book already actually has some reviews already. You're probably not gonna have any reviews, but one of the first things you wanna do is go find um, reviewers to review your novel. Because a lot of readers, they're kind of skeptical on buying a book with uh, zero reviews. Now going back to our product page here, let's say you have a book. You have a book you already published, it's live, and you wanna make some changes. Um, this is fairly easy to do. You just click on uh, click on the title here, and then uh, from here you can uh, either enroll your book in uh, KDP Slack. You can change the name, the description, the contributors. Um, you can also, if you want to ever change the cover, um, what you do is you just browse for image and upload a new cover. And if you ever need to change the Mobi file. Um, you click on, uh, you know, browse for book and then upload book again. And after uh, you've made those changes, you just click save and continue. Then you click publish again. Now to update a book, it typically takes between 12 to 24 hours for Amazon to do that. So now we've taken a look at how to upload and as well as uh, update uh, existing products in your uh, KDP account. And it wasn't very difficult, and, uh, but the things you enter in there are very important. And good luck with your book.